Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to try and accomplish as much as I can with Ruby on Rails in 10 minutes. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new application called Rails New My App. And then we're going to say CSS is equal to Tailwind. Then we're going to say clear. Then we're going to do CD Tailwind or CD My App. Then we're going to say and and code dot. And we're going to say and and Rails G or sorry, bundle, bundle add Tailwind CSS dash dash Rails. Then we're going to say Rails G scaffold. We're going to say post to give it a title, and then we're going to say body string, and then we're going to say uh, CSS is equal to tailwind. And with all that, we're going to do that. This is not the time to be installing VS Code. What the hell? Oh my god. Anyway, it looks like that's done, so we're going to run Rails S, and then we're going to go to our local host, and then go to the posts, and then let's see if it's working. So we're going to run our pending migrations. The Tailwind CSS is not applying, so I'm just going to go and get the Tailwind CSS CDN and the script tag into application.html.erb application.html.erb and then we should have our post scaffold. Okay, so we've got our post scaffold, but it's not looking that good, so I'm going to add some padding. And then just before the yield tag here, we're going to create a new div. We're going to say div class is equal to, we're going to say p-12 and then we're going to add a div here and that should add some padding to the application. As you can see, now we have some padding. So now we have our post scaffold here, and as you can see, we can create new posts. We can say first post ever, create post. Then the next thing that we're going to do is add device. So we have to add a user account to actually make this work. So I'm going to go back to my terminal. I'm going to say clear. I'm going to say bundle add device. Then I'm going to say Rails G device colon install clear, and then we're going to run Rails G device user. Then we're going to run Rails DB migrate, and then Rails S. Then go to VS Code, and we're going to go to the posts, and we're simply going to say the post controller. And inside of here, I'll full screen this. Inside of here, where it says app before action, we're going to say uh, before action, authenticate user, accept on show and index. And now, uh, yeah, now we go back to our application. Now, if we try to actually create a post, as you can see, we're going to have to log in. Next, I'm quickly going to go to the roots.rb, and we're going to make it so that we actually root to post hashtag index. Then I'm just going to sign up with a password of or a username of username at gmail.com and then a password of 12356, 12356, sign up. And as you can see, I've signed up now, although we didn't get any alerts, so I'm just going to add some alerts now. So go to the application of html.erb and then just above this, we're going to say um, alert. We can say p and then we're going to give it a class of alert. Then we can say like this. We're also going to add a notice like that. So now we should actually say, as you can see, we say, welcome, you've signed up successfully. Now what we're going to do is add a sign up button. So to do that, we're just going to add a sign up button here. And we're going to say uh, button to sign out. And we're going to say if uh, current underscore user. And then we're going to say the link, the actual route is going to be destroy, destroy, destroy underscore user underscore session underscore path the method is going to be delete and the data is going to be turbo underscore turbo is going to be set to false and then we're going to add that and as you can see now we have a sign up button as you can see now we've signed successfully now we need to add a sign in button or a sign in link so i'm going to add a sign in link so we're going to say sign uh, linked link underscore two link underscore two we're going to say sign up and then we're going to say new user registration path and that's fine so let's refresh and as you can see now we got a sign up button and that's fine okay let me just uh, log in with the username i just created so i said user name at gmail.com with password of 12356 and log in as you can see we are already signed in okay the next thing we're going to do is just go to rubygems.org and we're going to add a gem called friendly id so i'm going to search up friendly id friendly underscore id and we're going to add this gem so i'm going to say home home page add it go to the documentation so i actually know what i'm doing because i don't remember all of the commands so we're going to add this to our gem file gem file and then gem file bundle install and then we're going to run a rails main gem migration add slow to users so let's change that to posts so i'm going to run clear just so you can see what i'm doing and then we're going to say the add migration to the posts because that's the table that we're going to be actually adding the slope to so we can actually slug our URLs. Then we're going to run Rails DB migrate, I think. Uh, and then we need to run Rails G friendly ID. 
and then we're going to run Rails DB migrate. And then we're simply going to go to the post.rb and we're going to add these two lines and we're going to slug the title. So post.rb. So go to post.rb and then add these two lines and simply slug the title and then we're going to run Rails S. And as you can see, now our post should have slug titles, so it shouldn't say post slash one, it should say uh, post slash the actual title. So I'm going to say first post ever, create post, and as you can see, now we uh, go back to post and we show this post, and as you can see, now we go to the first post ever, but we need to go to the post controller. We need to actually make sure that it is friendly.find and not just find. So we're going to go to set post down here, and we need to say friendly.find so that we're actually finding it via the friendly ID, not the um, normal ID. So as you can see, now it actually does work. So now we can actually show the post via the friendly ID. That is 10 minutes up on the Audacity recording, so I'm going to end the video here now. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.